Hello, my name is Faraz, and in this video I'm going to demo a vulnerability that I discovered in Adobe Flash that allows any website to turn on your webcam and microphone without your knowledge or permission to spy on you or to save video of you or to do really whatever the attack website feels like doing. It works in all the versions of Adobe Flash that I tested and in most of the browsers that I tested. Uh, for some reason it doesn't work on Chrome for Mac and on most of the browsers on Windows. Um, I still haven't figured out why, but I have a hunch that it's caused by some sort of uh, CSS bug with opacity. In any case, it works on enough browsers that I think it's something to be sort of concerned about. Uh, so I'd like to demo it for you now. So I whipped up a quick demo. Uh, this is a, a game that uh, involves the user just clicking on a bunch of buttons in a series, and uh, let's see what happens. And just like that, my camera was turned on. So why did that happen? That shouldn't happen. I mean, there was no user interaction at all. There was no uh, dialogue asking for permission. And so uh, that's pretty bad. Um, so I'd like to show you now how that happened. So this is the uh, Adobe Flash uh, settings page. And this is uh, a page that exists on the macromedia.com domain name. And if you visit it, um, it has a list of websites that uh, are allowed to access your camera and microphone along with a whole bunch of other settings for Adobe Flash. And so you can see in this list, uh, forus.org is now listed uh, with permission to access the webcam. And before I, I started this demo, this list was actually empty. So um, during that series of clicks in the game we were playing, uh, I was actually authorizing Adobe Flash to access my webcam and I couldn't, I, I didn't know that I was doing that. So um, I'm going to explain now how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, the list of sites that are authorized to access my webcam, and I'm going to start the demo over. So let's uh, refresh the page. And OK, so you can see here, this is actually an invisible iframe that uh, is the source of the iframe is the flash settings thing that we just saw over here. And um, so Adobe obviously doesn't want people to be able to put this page in a frame. So they actually tried to do uh, frame busting. So they have some JavaScript on this page that actually busts out of any frames that uh, it, if you put this page into a frame. However, uh, if you actually make an iframe and make the source, the Swift file, the direct, directly, then it actually works. And this surprised me. So to make this work, what I'm actually going to do is have some of the clicks go to the DOM and some of the clicks go to the flash element. And the reason why we have to do this is because um, when you click on a flash element, the DOM actually doesn't receive any events as far as I know. And so there's no way to know that the user actually clicked uh, what you want them to click in the flash element. And so what I do is I sort of fake it by uh, letting some clicks go to the DOM, like that one. Another, This is going to be another click that goes to the DOM. And then now this next click is actually going to go through to the flash element. And so the way we do it is the minute the user hovers over the button, um, I start a timer, and uh, I and I also uh, make the flash element come to the front, and I give the user one second to click that button, but I actually have no way to know whether they clicked it or not because when they click it, it's going to go to the flash element, and the DOM isn't going to see it, and so I just wait a second and assume that they would have clicked it within a second of hovering over the button. So watch, I'm going to hover. I have one second to click. I clicked, and now the button that I clicked, if you notice, was the delete all sites button. So um, this attack actually involves uh, four clicks on the flash element. The first, as you saw, was to delete all uh, the websites in the list here. And the reason why we do that is so that um, if there are any other sites the user has authorized to access their webcam, we want to remove them because we want our site to be the only site in the list, and we want it to be the very top so that we can uh, deterministically figure out where it's at. So uh, the second click here is going to go to the DOM. Now this one's going to go to click Confirm. OK, so I just confirmed deleting all the websites in that list. Next, this is going to go to the DOM. All right, now we're going to select frost.org in the list of websites. Another one that's going to go to the DOM. And now we're going to click Always Allow. And so just like that, uh, my webcam is click jacked. There we go. So four clicks to the flash element. Uh, the rest go to the DOM just to keep the user engaged and to um, make sure that they're actually clicking stuff. And that's how the attack works.
So thanks for watching. And um, you can read more about this on my blog, frost.org.